Hey guys, so basically these are me trying to get into character and kind of just fucking around really. Because there's times where I'm just reading off stuff and I kind of want to stay into character or do a little something different with the stuff that I'm saying. And I kind of just improvise. So it's a lot of improvisation. Like this is not written on a script at all. So that's what these are. So basically this is all just me talking in character to myself and just kind of going with the flow. So I hope you guys like it because these were really never supposed to be in the light of day, but I thought it'd make some fun content. And also, yes, keep in mind, these are not supposed to be canon. This is all just improv that I did by myself like at three in the morning at one point. So see you guys. Hey, Porter. Yeah? What are you going to do after the war's over? What do you mean? You know, after the war's over, when it's all settled and stuff, what do you have planned? Uh, I guess I never really thought about it before. War's been going on for so long, I kind of forgot there was anything else after it. Now, I was thinking of opening up a little mechanic shop somewhere. Maybe fix up a few cars. Something simple. <laughs> for you? That almost sounds too simple. Well, what about you? I think we should focus on winning this war first. Then we can cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, hey, at least we're going to cross that bridge together. And whether I like it or not. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You ever find it kind of weird? What? Uh, the fact that we keep seeing the same three guys die over and over again. Uh, I guess so. I did see Idaho die a couple of times back there. But then again, I kind of always chalked it up to him just being kind of injured, maybe? I don't know, man. Kind of seems a bit weird being injured from a bullet to the head. Well, uh, jeez, I, I guess I don't really know. Told ya. Virtual reality. I told you, it's purgatory! So you've been with Framethrower guy for a while now, huh? Yeah. Guess you could say that. Must be pretty good partners by now. Well, I wouldn't say we're partners. Or friends. Or anything like that. But, I will say he's saved my skin more times than most. Well, it's better than being in the spec ops corps. Sometimes you don't even get a partner. Months and months just being by yourself. Huh. Well, that does sound kind of lonely. I guess I am kind of grateful. Makes the walks across town a little less spooky. Well, we best get going. You never know when anybody's going to come around here. Thought you said this place was secure. Eh, I said I was spec cops. Didn't say I was stealth. Hey, Rodriguez. Yeah? You ever wonder... What's after this? What do you mean? You mean, like, the war? No, I mean, you know, when we die. Oh. Oh, jeez, I guess I never really thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really think about it either. I mean, we're surrounded by death all the time. I guess it's just one of those things you just don't think about until... I guess you're alone with your own thoughts. Any particular reason why they've been coming up? No, I guess... Every once in a while, you just gotta kind of question it, huh? Well, whatever's beyond this, hopefully we won't find out anytime soon, right? Yeah, hopefully. Hey, Rodriguez. Yeah? How long this war been going on? Uh, ten years, I think? Ten years, huh? Damn. Do you even remember how it started? Uh, kind of. To be honest, I don't even remember enlisting. I was just told I have to be in the army now. Wait, you were drafted? Well, yeah, weren't you? No. I chose to be in this army. Really? Why? Huh. Now that you mentioned it, I don't remember. Hmm. Oh well, I'm pretty sure it'll come to you one of these days. Now come on, let's get out of the city. Huh? There's nothing here, just one big empty city. We remember why we came to the city in the first place, so let's just get out of here. <laughs>